Okay, so here's another example. This one only has one fraction in it, but it's a doozy. But we're going to cancel the denominator the same way we always have. We're going to multiply by the denominator, with it, which is 2x minus 11. So we're going to multiply by 2x minus 11 in parentheses. 2x minus 11 times this fraction cancels the denominator, and we have negative 3. Then 2x minus 11 times 2, here is how we're going to write it. We're just going to say 2 times 2x minus 11. We'll, we'll distribute in just a little bit. Equals 2x minus 11 times x, which is going to be x times 2x minus 11. In just a minute, we're going to, we're going to distribute, okay? All right, so we've canceled the denominator. Now we have no more denominators. Now it just looks like something that we've seen before, except this right here is going to cause it to be a quadratic. This is going to wind up being a quadratic equation. So now we have negative 3, and then 2 times 2x is plus 4x. 2 times negative 11 is negative 22 equals x times 2x is 2x squared, and x times negative 11 is negative 11x. So you can see here this is quadratic. This is an equal sign. It's a quadratic equation, so I'm probably going to use the quadratic formula to solve it. All right, so I need to set everything equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides, minus 4x. And then here I'm going to add 22, and I'm going to add 3. So I'm adding 3 and 22. So plus 3 and plus 22. Okay. So over here, cancel, cancel, cancel. We get 0 is equal to 2x squared. And then negative 11x minus 4x is negative 15x. And then 3 plus 22 is 25, so that's plus 25. And so what we have here is A is 2, B is neg negative 15, and C is 25. Okay. All right. So I'll use the quadratic formula here. I'll start down here. X is equal to negative B, so that's negative negative 15, plus or minus the square root of B, negative 15, squared minus 4 times a, which is 2, times c, which is 25, all over 2 times a. That's 2 times 2, okay? So let's clean this up just a little bit. I think I'll move up here. x is equal to negative negative 15 is just 15, plus or minus the square root. Well, 15 squared, if I do this in the calculator, negative 15 squared is the same thing as 15 squared, which is 225 minus 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 25 is 200, so this is 200. So 225 minus 200 gives us 25. So we have the square root of 25 all over 2 times 2 is 4. So we have x is equal to 15 plus or minus, the square root of 25 is 5, all over 4. So we're going to have x is equal to 15 plus 5 over 4, and x is equal to 15 minus 5 over 4. Well, 15 plus 5 is 20. 20 divided by 4 is 5. So one of our answers is 5. 15 minus 5 is 10. 10 divided by 4 is, uh, reduces to 5 over 2. So one of our solutions is 5, and the other solution is 5 over 2. And, these, and the reason we came up with two solutions is because we wound up with uh, turning this into a, um, into a quadratic.